Hey family, what's good? This is your girl and the Bronze Goddess and it's Love Week here on my channel. In case you missed it, I'm uploading a Valentine's Day related video all the way up until Valentine's Day. So there's strawberry letters, date night, outfit of the days and things like that. So be sure to tune in every day until Valentine's Day for a brand new video. Today's video is a strawberry letter. I'm about to get right into it. Before I do, I'm going to remind you guys about my new book. It's called The Dating Game, How to Find Yourself While Looking for Mr. Right. It's available on Create Space and Amazon and I am also hosting a giveaway. So I will link that video below. Five winners will win an autographed copy of my new book. Without any further ado, let's go get them. Uh, hi BG, I'm a full-time college student finishing up my last year, uh, as well as working two part-time jobs but still living at home with my mother and her live-in boyfriend. I'm having issues with this living situation because I hate to see my mother struggling with a guy uh, who does not provide. Uh, my mother treats him like he is a king. Uh, she works two jobs seven days a week, pays all the bills, and still comes home and cooks and cleans after him. Uh, he does not work and therefore does not provide for his three kids, whom I've never met in the 15 years and does not have a car so all the partying and hanging out that he does he does on my mother's dollar and cutting into her sleep time it's upsetting to me to see her struggle and lose sleep even even more upsetting is that he, she asks me for money sometimes to support her uh, that she in turn used to support him. She even asked me to put some things on layaway from him at my job uh, so that he can have Christmas presents, which I did not. Uh, I do not support grown men and anything that she asks um, to, to support him, I do not do. I love my mom, but I would like to think that she's not desperate for a man to be around but when I tried asking about the situation she never gives me a straight answer and claims to be happy and that I should mind my business. Uh, I need some type of understanding and I really wish my mom would let this guy go. He has no goals, no ambition, and no desire to want to be better for his life. In the past he would disappear during holidays and birthdays, was nowhere to be found when we were homeless for two weeks, nowhere to be found when I had to take care of my mother doing two major surgeries, and nowhere to be found during family funerals over the past year. To make matters even worse, this man left to be with another woman in another state while my mother paid his phone bills and still took him back. Why is she doing this to herself? She writes that in all caps. It reminds me of this, this analogy that I heard once about a plate. I cannot for the life of me, I cannot stand green peas. Like green, nasty, squishy little nasty peas. I cannot stand them. I hate them with a passion. Now if you give me a nice juicy porterhouse steak, if you give me a loaded baked potato, if you give me some green beans with some tomato, you know, sauteed in some white wine, a little bit of butter, garlic, onions, all that. If you give it to me the way I want to, if you give me that, but you put peas on my plate, I will not eat it. Because I don't believe that I should eat just anything that somebody puts on my plate. Life is that way. And I don't care if somebody tells you you're too ugly, you're too dark skinned, you're too this, you're too that, you're not educated enough, you're not smart enough, my ex-girl was prettier than you, whatever somebody, whatever what ex told you about yourself, you don't have to eat it. Just because they put it on your plate doesn't mean you have to eat it, doesn't mean you have to take it in and ingest it. You only eat what you know is true. Stop accepting anything that somebody tells you about yourself. That is exactly what I think happened here. I don't know if it's this guy or if it's exes or her parents or fake friends or whoever it is, but somebody has gotten her to believe that the only way that she could be validated is if she's with a man. I read a meme once that I absolutely love. It said that validation is for parking, okay? But I really do believe that. You can be whole and complete and be amazing without being with someone. 15 years, you, you haven't even met his other three children. Has your mother even met the other three children? So besides sleeping there and getting free food and your mom's car to party, like what is he really giving your mother? It's sad that your mother doesn't love herself enough to realize that she's being used or even to love herself enough to say, you know what? Despite how I feel about him, this is a bad example for my daughter. And I can't let my daughter grow up seeing, seeing this and thinking that it's okay to have some man just dog her out like this. I don't know how you managed to turn out okay, but I'm very proud of you for being able to identify that this is no good. The Bible says if a man doesn't work, he doesn't eat. So I'd be doggone if I was going to feed this man. That he was going to lay up all this time and have just, no, just happy-go-lucky, disappear for weeks on end, Disappeared during holidays. You said your mom had two surgeries. He wasn't even there for her. I hope that she doesn't think that this man's going to marry her one day. And that she, I, I hate the idea. Let me, let me tell you what I cannot stand. I cannot stand this whole idea of ride or die. 
You gotta be kidding me. Stop listening to rap songs. Stop living your life like it's a doggone rap video. Ain't a bunch, no, it ain't no ride or die here. If you, you, a man needs to know that there is a possibility that he could lose you. I'm not saying that you're threatening him and all this and that, but it, there's, there's never gonna be a point where you think you can just do anything and I will stay. That you will run off for a couple of weeks and be with somebody else and you just know that I'm gonna stay because I'm ride or die? Well, grow up! Like, what do you mean? I hate this whole idea of people making it seem like a man can cheat and then girls be, and you are plotting this because she's ride or die? Absolutely not! He can do whatever he wants because he knows that your mother will accept it because she has proven time and time again there is no limit to her love. It's not love. Your mother wants to be with someone and that's just anyone. He is just anyone. I don't think that your mother truly loves him. Your mother loves the idea of having a man. Even if that man is never faithful. Even if that man just uses her for money. She just wants, because for some reason, for some way, somehow, your mother has believed, gotten herself to believe that he is the best that she can do. And that she is nothing without a man. And she can't seem to get out of that mindset, so she'll do anything, even borrowing money from her daughter to help support this bum who is sitting around here playing video games and spending up her money and wouldn't even be by her side when she had surgery. Like, your, your mother is too old to not know what this is. But she doesn't care. And that's sad. It's sad when somebody puts the, the love of a man above their own children. This is detrimental for you, for you to be seeing this. So you ask me, why is your mother doing this? Because your mother doesn't know that she deserves better. Why is, that's why any woman is doing this. As romantic as it sounds to have unconditional love for someone, unfortunately, there has to be some conditions. There has, you, a man has to know that I just can't do anything and she'll stay. There's, there's actually effort that goes into being together. Yeah you, yeah, you have to be faithful, yes. And I have to know where you are. You can't just disappear for weeks on end. You can't leave me in the hospital and not even be by my side when I had surgery. Like, you can't just take all my money and just, like, no. This man is a user. And as I said before in previous videos, users never get tired of using. They never get tired of taking. They never set boundaries. They will take as much as you're willing to give. They are a leech and every leech needs a host. And your mother is a host and he is sucking her dry. Her spirit, her soul, her confidence, her money, her time, her youth. He will bleed her dry. All your mother will have after all this is done is regret. I pray that you actually let your mother see this video. Ma'am, you deserve so much better than this. There is a, your, your Prince Charming is waiting for you while you're wasting time with this clown. Two weeks after I broke up with my ex-fiance, I met my husband. And I always wondered to myself, was I the holdup? What if I had broken up with him a lot sooner? Would I have met my husband sooner? People always think they're waiting on God. Maybe God is waiting on you. Maybe your Prince Charming has been waiting for you for years to get tired of this guy. To free yourself up. To be open to somebody else. Somebody better. Somebody different. You deserve better, but you gotta know that. You have to feel that within your bones. You have to know it in your knower. You have to know that you're a catch. And know that you're a good woman. And no, and I said it in my book, you're not truly ready to be in a relationship until you realize you don't have to be. It doesn't complete you. Like I said before, validation is for parking, honey. Whether I have a man or not, I know I'm fabulous. I know I'm, I'm attractive. I'm smart. I'm a go-getter. I'm a great mom. I'm a great friend. I'm a great sister. I don't have to have a man to me to, for me to be those things. A man shouldn't complete you. He should compliment you. But let me tell you, for all these women out there who are letting it, doing all this and you being the breadwinner and your man just sitting home playing video games all day and you, you know in your heart that he's not really trying because he likes that you're taking care of him. The first thing that God gave Adam was a job. Before he gave him Eve, he gave him a job. Because he wanted him to know, I need you to be able to provide for this woman. Stop acting like you're so new age and you're so independent that, ooh, that's just old school. Oh, is it? Okay.
I like my old school ways. Anyway, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to comment in the comment section. What do you think? What advice do you have for her mother? Are you in a situation? Have you ever been in a situation where you have a man that's doing this to you? Did you stay? And if you did stay, tell me why. Leave your testimonies. Leave your stories. I love reading your stories. I love hearing how you ladies overcame these things. I really appreciate that you guys actually take the time to share with other women because I know as much as you like to think that you're the only one going through what you're going through, oftentimes there are, there are women who are where you've been. Your situation is not unique. You can find support here. That's the beauty of my channel. That's the beauty of the comment section in every strawberry letter is that you can find support in these comments. Somebody has made it through what you feel like you'll never get through. We are all survivors.